adventure, sports, outdoors. With host, Harry Canterbury. There I was, back in the wild again And I fell right at home, where I belong I had that feeling, coming over me again Just like it happened so many times before Hi, Harry Canterbury with another edition of Adventure Sports Outdoors. We've got kind of a neat show. Uh, some little kids learning about uh, safety of firearms and shooting a shotgun for the very first time. And uh, as I say in the show, a family that shoots together stays together. Under good supervision, teaching uh, young children about guns is a very, very smart thing to do. And it's our responsibility to teach responsibility. So I think you'll enjoy this uh, first of the program about uh, young kids learning how to shoot a shotgun. We're also going to go down to Orangeville, Illinois at Illini Sporting Clay Range. It's an event that uh, I look forward to each and every year. Had a pretty good day, shot 88 out of 100, but it's a lot of fun shooting sporting clays. Adventure Sports Outdoors, brought to you in part by Corsaw Lumber, manufacturers of quality hardwood products, buyers of standing timber in Smithfield, Central Pool Supply, everything from pools to pool tables and much more in Peoria on West Pioneer Parkway. Michael O'Brien Commercial Real Estate and Recreational Ground, Remax Unlimited Commercial. Kelleher's Irish Pub and Eatery, located on Peoria's Riverfront, open 11 a.m. daily. And by Alwyn and Sons Meat Company, our thanks to all of these sponsors. Hi, Harry Canterbury at the Deer Creek American Legion, just on the edge of Mackinac, Illinois. And uh, we're out here with an event uh, that's really cool. A bunch of young kids are uh, out shooting shotguns. And this is called a uh, turkey shoot. And uh, if you'll notice on the targets right here, these are about 30 yards from the shooting area. You shoot the gun, you get one shell, and there's usually anywhere from six to 10 shooters. I don't know how many sta uh, stations we got here. 12, sh uh, 12 stations. Uh, if you'll notice, the target in the very center has a crosshairs right there. And how they judge the winner is the closest BB to the center wins a prize. So uh, we're going to have the kids do this. Uh, we've got four tens and 20 gauges and some of these kids are seven and eight years old. But it's a great sport to get the kids out. When you have a turkey shoot in your community, go to it because they're a lot of fun. You're not shooting animals, you're shooting targets. It's great for the kids to, uh, to get, get to pull the trigger on a shotgun. And uh, we're going to see just how well they do. I'm here with Mike and Austin Baker from Washington, Illinois. And uh, how old are you, Austin? 12. Have you done this before? No. This is your first time? Yeah. Are you looking forward to it? Mm-hmm. Okay, he says, uh-huh, so I think he's right. <laughs> but anyway, he uh, kind of knows the basics of uh, gun safety. You've taught him that for the last few years, right? Correct, yep. And uh, did you guys do any hunting? Uh, yes, we deer hunt, um, squirrel hunt. That's probably about it. Yeah, because oh, no. you can't, there's hardly any rabbits anymore. No, there's no rabbits. And there's hardly any pheasants anymore, so yeah. <laughs> that's what we all grew up on. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're standing about 30 yards from here to the target, and this is a 410 line, and Austin's going to get to shoot the 410, so are you all ready? And, and here's your 410 box of shells, yeah. and uh, we'll do it. All right. Okay. Hey, Austin, you did a really super good job, buddy. Come over here and take a look what you did. As you can see right here, at 30 yards with a 410, there's just not a whole lot of pellets. And you did get two of them. One's right on the edge and the other one's in the center here. Of course, you want to get the target 
the uh, shell as close as you can to that center target right there. But you got a pretty good pattern, and that's not too bad. So we're going to, uh, you hang on to that, and we're going to see what the other guys do, okay? Okay. Hey, Jake. So gun safety, first thing you ought to know automatically is your safety is always on before you handle a gun. Anytime you're handling it, safety is important. Okay? So when we go to address the gun, we're getting ready to shoot. We're going to line this up. We've got to get this butt of the gun back in the inside of your shoulder. Okay. Left hand comes to the stock. Cheek down on the, the uh, butt of the gun. And we're lining up your sights all the way back through into your right eye. Okay. This is going to be a lot heavier than, uh, than what guns you're used to. So I may have to help you hold it up so you can line it up. Okay. So when we're ready to shoot, take your safety off. And then we're ready to fire. Okay, you understand? Mm -hmm. All right, we're ready to load. So what we do here, bud, is there's a little button here. Bring our stock back. That's how we load it up. Slide this thing in here. So, so now we're ready. Okay. So now you got your safety on. We're gonna line it up. Let's scoot over here where we're gonna shoot number five, right? Okay. I'm gonna help you hold this in here. You got it back in. But when we're ready to fire, go ahead and take your safety off, and we'll line it up before we pull the trigger. Tell me when you're ready to shoot. Which way do we need to go? Okay. I'm here with Jake. How'd you like that, buddy? It was fun. Was it fun? Yeah. Didn't kick too bad, did it? Mm-mm. <laughs> no. Hey, in a couple of years, you'll be able to handle it a lot better. It's a little long, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, we're going to take a look at your target and see what you did. You think you hit it? No. <laughs> you know. Hey, now, I'll tell you what, I think he hit it pretty darn good. Look at there. He did a great job. He really did. That's the first shotgun you ever shot in your entire life. Yeah. Well, you'll be shooting thousands of those. You'll be spending a lot of money one of these days. Shotgun shells are getting expensive. <laughs> Pam, who, is, who are all these uh, beautiful little girls? Well, this would be my daughter, Samantha Hyatt. Uh-huh. Her daughter, my granddaughter, Haley Hyatt, and Macy Hyatt. Macy, how old are you? You're four. Oh, really? And what do you want to do when you grow up? You want to play with horses, huh? Is what I hear. You like ponies? What color horse do you like the best? White. You like white horses, right? Oh, well, maybe you'll get one someday. Grandma's going to buy you one. <laughs> All right, now we're going to let the girls shoot, and uh, let's see what they do. And hey, they may just do as well or better than the boys. Close it up. Close it up. Okay. I'll point it right at number five. Right, that's number five. Sorry. Close it. Oh. Right. You think you hit it? No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you did okay. You uh, didn't hit a lot. Of, put a lot of pellets in there, but you did. Did you enjoy shooting the shotgun? Yeah. You think you might be doing it again later, huh? Yeah. Well, that's what it's all about. It's teaching these kids safety, number one. But number two is to enjoy the great outdoors. Thanks, Haley. Yep. I'm here with Bryce Hyatt and Joe Tanner, and uh, this is uh, Joe's grandson, as long as all the other kids are, too. And uh, have you ever shot a gun before? Mm -mm. This is going to be your first time, right? I shot like a, to I shot a toy gun. A toy gun. Well, this is not a toy, and you know they can be very dangerous. You've got to be real careful. But you, the whole family has been shooting all their lives, and and uh, your kids have done it and you've done it, so it's really a good time to start, isn't it? It's a very good time to start when they're really young. That's right. They'll learn a lot. That's right, and it'll give them a lifetime of, uh, of things to do when they get older. And uh, a lot of people are, don't want to see an eight or 10 year old kid shoot a gun. I think it's a great thing, don't you? Yes I, yes, I do. There's a lot of kids that come out here during the shoots and stuff, and it's. They have a good time. Yeah, it's safe and, every, and nobody gets hurt and, and they're well supervised and that's the way to do it. Well anyway, we're going to shoot this, have this little guy uh, get up and uh, shoot and we'll see what he does. And I'll remember this is his first time. Okay Bryce, Bryce, you never shot a gun, right? Okay. So the first thing you want to look to is make sure the safety's on. Okay? When the hammer's back, the safety's off. Okay. When the hammer's forward, the safety's on. Okay? First, what we want to do is we want to make sure there's nothing in there. Nothing in there? Okay. We're going to take this, put it in there like that, okay? Okay, the next step, what we're going to do, it, it's good, is we're going to close it. 
Okay. Now the safety's on, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you lefty or righty? Right. Okay. So we're gonna come over here and we'll make sure that gun is right there on, on there, okay? Cheek down. Okay, can you see that ball? Oop. Stand up here. Okay. Nope. You gotta get this up here like that. Okay. Okay, so your finger can reach it. So you keep your finger there. Okay. So we're aiming at number six. Okay, so mm -hmm. are we are you aiming at it? Cheek down. Put that ball right on that, that white target out there. So now we're gonna cock it. We're gonna pull the hammer back. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're ready. Yeah. Safety's off. Okay, line it up. And then pull the trigger. What do you think about that? Okay, and then after that, you hit this button here and it pulls it out. You pull that out. Make sure everything came out of the barrel. Then we shut it up. <laughs> you gotta smell that shell. Smell it. This? Smells good, no, don't it? Smell the end of it. Mmm. Mm. Smells good, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, how'd you like that? Was that fun? Mm-hmm. You gonna keep that shell and put it on the mantle at home? Yeah. That's the first gun you ever shot in your life, isn't it? Uh-huh. You think you'll take this up as a career? Mm. <laughs> you never know, someday you will. Good shoot. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, I'm Dave Barth with your Sportsman's Tip of the Week. We've talked about concealed carry in the past. It's as popular now as it ever has been. Here's some new examples of some concealed carry handguns. Here's a few examples of some new semi-automatics. If you're gonna practice a little bit, a semi-automatic would be a good choice. They require a little more effort than a revolver. The first one here is a Ruger LC9S. It's a small, compact 9mm, made in the USA. The next one, is a Sig Sauer. It's a P938 9mm. They also make them in a 380. They're expensive, but they're quality pistols. Right next to that, we have a pistol from Spring Photo Armory in Geneseo, Illinois. This is an XDS 9mm. They come with a hard case and two magazines. They also make them in a 40 caliber. Nice, compact, yet a lot of firepower. The one on the right here is a Smith & Wesson Bodyguard. It's a 380. It comes with a built-in laser and again, made in USA. A couple of nice revolvers are uh, Smith & Wesson's. This is a titanium cylinder 337, real lightweight, and right next to it, at a uh, more economical price, is a Smith & Wesson model 637 with an alloy frame. Excellent choices, good, reliable uh, handguns. We also have holsters that are somewhat new on the market. And the first one here is they call it a sticky holster. It's an inside the pant holster. And uh, they call it a sticky holster because it's sticky. You know, it grips a gun, grips your uh, pants and your shirt. If you'd like a belt holster, this is a Bulldog belt holster. It holds the pistol and an extra magazine. Next to that, we have a Bianchi pancake holster, which kind of breaks up the outline of the pistol, mounts on the outside of the belt. And then we have shoulder holsters and uh, ankle holsters. I'm Dave Barth, that's been your Sportsman's Tip of the Week. Hello, I'm Dr. Art Herm at the Morton Animal Hospital. I've been in practice for over 40 years here at the Morton Animal Hospital in Morton, Illinois. This year, in particular, because we've had so much rain and flooding, there's an extra uh, risk as far as heartworm. Heartworm is a disease that can affect dogs. And it also is a zoonotic disease. It sometimes affects humans. So it is a, a disease that you want to prevent. And there is a preventive uh, medication to give once a month to your dog that will help prevent the disease. The disease is, affects the heart and lungs of a dog. And it can be uh, a morbid disease if there's not too much of an infestation. But if there's a heavy infestation, it can be fatal. It is a disease that, uh, of course, bred by mosquitoes and, of course, wherever a dog is uh, exposed to more mosquitoes, the more chance of heartworm disease. The dog has to be tested for the disease, a blood test that takes just a few minutes to run, and then uh, afterwards, uh, 
the preventative uh, medication is given every month. From Ladybug and all our friends here at the Morton Animal Hospital, we wish you uh, happy trails and we'll see you next time. You know, every year I like to go to a Lion Eye Sporting Clays for the annual Sunrise Egg uh, Sporting Clay shoot. A great time to be with friends, and I had a great time. Shot an 88 out of 100, should have done better, but not too bad for an old guy. So stay tuned for this next segment. We're at a little bitty town called Aaronsville, as they say down here, Aaronsville, Illinois. Some of them say Illinois, but that's okay. They, they, they know where they're at. We're having a great shoot. I had a perfect score until just a few minutes ago. I was shooting, uh, I had a 39 out of 40, which is pretty good for me, especially in this heat. And uh, we're having a good time. The shooting event is put on by Sunrise Egg, and uh, they do this every year. This is my second time here. But anyway, we're having a lot of fun. It's a great sport. Sporting clays was invented in England about uh, 60 or 70 years ago and has been brought to America and has become a very, very popular sport for sportsmen. Something to do before the hunting season. Hey, I'm here with Jacob. He's what uh, they call a puller. And uh, you're using a uh, push button deal. And it's hooked up to these uh, traps over here, which is real nice. Now, the old times, they used to have to load those by hand. And some of these still are hand loaded, aren't they? Yes, they are. Uh, there's a few stations around here today that are still hand loaded. And uh, tell us how that thing works. Basically, I push the button and it throws a clay. Okay, now we're going to turn it over there and uh, show everybody what, what happens. You just push the button yep. and away it comes. Now, this one particular. Uh, trap here is uh, on report and what that means is once you fire a shot then the, the second bird comes is that correct mm-hmm yep well I have to hit the button a second time but it loads itself and everything okay all right well let's take a look and see how it does I'm here with uh, Alan Forsythe and uh, known him for many, many years ago at Force City. A lot of fun, huh? A lot of fun, yeah. I used to shoot it quite a bit over at Mason City, but then they went out and a fellow died. And so I just shoot once a year now for FS's Appreciation yeah. Day. Yeah, that's about the only time I go, but boy, it's a lot of fun. We're here at range number six and uh, position number six. Mr. Forsythe's loading up, and uh, I've done pretty good today, better than I usually do. I've got uh, 39 out of 40, so I'm pretty happy about that. These hang up in the air, and you gotta get them before they fall. Remember when you're shooting sporting plays, you gotta shoot them before they make their descent. Most of these guys are uh, dove hunters and duck hunters, and uh, they're usually pretty good shots uh, no matter what they shoot at. This is a 10-station uh, sporting clay range. There's 10 stations, they're spaced about 200 yards apart, and you get 10 shots at each station. So you shoot approximately 50 shots. Uh, this particular one here is a lot of fun and really not too bad. As we get along here in the chute, you'll see that there's some very difficult positions, and it's, this can be very challenging. And uh, but it's fun though; it's a lot of fun. Number six, I believe. Number on number six. 
We've got uh, four more to go. And uh, a lot of time. Oop, here comes a piece down. Always remember, safety's number one. When you walk off of that uh, station there, you make sure your gun's unloaded. And when you walk up to it, your gun's unloaded. The only time you have a shell in the gun is when you're ready to shoot. And one thing that's totally disallowed, and that is alcohol. If you're going to drink a cold beer, especially on a hot day like today, it tastes pretty good. You wait till you get done shooting. Uh, shooting sporting clays or any gun. Alcohol, it's like oil and water. It doesn't mix. Now let's move on to the next one. Just down the road, you never know, it's a surprise. They change these every year. I've had a pretty good, uh, pretty good run today. I don't shoot a lot, I used to shoot a lot of trap. I've got uh, 59 out of 60, which is pretty good. Um, but this one here, it looks like it's quite a challenge. Like I said, as, as you go along, they get harder and harder and harder. And this one here is definitely gonna be a challenge, but it's fun and that's why you're here. Pull. Hey, I'm here with David Pratt, uh, and he's related to a lot of the Pratt's around here, right? Yep, yep, afraid so. <laughs> okay. The good ones, the bad yeah, ones, all of them. The bad ones, all of them. Well, we all got, you know, yep. we got that situation. In-laws and outlaws. Hey, a, lo a lot of fun today. Yeah. Only one guy, Kim, uh, where's Kim at? He's over there in the truck. But he's the only guy that shot a straight on so this. So far, he's the only one got all 10. You know, it's 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 not an easy one, is no, it? No, it isn't. No, it's, it's pretty tough. A lot of guys have been complaining about it. Well, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If, it was e like it. If, if it was easy, I mean, it wouldn't no. be any fun, would nope. it? No, it wouldn't. No. Yeah, that's right. Uh, they're all having a good time out here today. Okay. Yep. All right. Mr. Pratt, thanks. We'll Thank talk you. to you later. Okay. Thanks for Stop. thanks for taking care of us. Sure. No Alrighty. problem. You bet. I'm here with the uh, Sunrise Ag guys. I'm here with Seth Coates, and Seth is a uh, puller or trapper, whichever you want to call him. And uh, who's your buddy? This is Ron. Ron, what's your last name? Ron Toncray. Okay. You guys live around here? Yes, I'm from Beardstown, born and raised. Okay, and uh, tell us what this uh, particular trap's going to do for us here now. I mean, this is the difficult one, right? No, this is probably the easiest on the course. Straight out, uh, I've had two misses all day. Oh, really? Yep. So it's just a straight out bird. Whatever happened to the one they used to have here that went sideways, but nobody could hit? Uh, the rabbit run, I believe, is out this year, but uh, this station shoots away. It's okay. probably a lot more difficult. Yeah, now I'll tell you what, when I was on that one last year, it was over here. And the birds come right in front of you. And I only got three out of 10. I'm doing okay. I've got uh, 66 out of 70 so far. And I, if I had taken my time, I think I would have done better. But uh, hey, thanks guys. And thanks for coming out and entertaining all those folks. And uh, you. you know, once a year and it's uh, Sunrise Ag uh, takes care of uh, all their customers. And it's really a uh, good thing to do. Thank you. Hey, we're at the uh, very last station. Uh, this is a tough one. So far, I've only missed uh, six, and I think I'm going to miss a bunch more. I'm here with Josh Stone. He's a trapper and thrower here at, uh, what station is this, Josh? Ten. Ten. Where are you from? Uh, Bath. Well, Bath, Illinois. Yes. You know Mark Clark, then. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I own his house down here on the river. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You duck hunter, too? Nope, I don't duck hunt. Never got into that bad sport, huh? Nope. No. Tell us what we got to shoot here. This is kind of tough, isn't it? Yes, they come go sideways or straight up and down compared to normal and go up and down. Two. So are they on report or are they, just, do you throw two? Yep, they throw two. Just, no, you don't have to say anything. Just they throw two. So it's on report. Pull the trigger and then the other one comes. Yep, yep. Okay. Well, let's see how bad I mess up on this one. This is a toughie now, I'm telling you. Let's see what I can do. Pull.
good shooting, man. Good way to finish. Hey, I'm here with a couple of guys at uh, Lion Eye Sporting Clays, and th hey, this is the generation that's going to fill the void here when we're gone, and and uh, they enjoy it, they love it. And how long have you been doing this? Uh, a year or two. Year or two, and how about you? I've been doing it since I was six, seven. Six? How old are you now? Eleven. Eleven. Well, good for you. What kind of gun you got there? Uh, my grandpa's 28 gauge. Well, 28, man. A 28 is sweet. I love a 28. They're really, really nice. Where are you guys from? Where are you from? Beardstown. You? Down the road from him. Okay, you guys <laughs> live in the same town. Well, hey, you know what? It's really nice to see young folks out here enjoying a sport that I've been doing all my life. And this is going to give these guys a chance to enjoy the great outdoors. And they're learning from the experts. The safety is number one about this whole thing. And there's nothing wrong with an 11-year-old guy with a shotgun. And I, I highly endorse it. So, uh, hey, don't be afraid to take those kids out shooting and teach them the safety and what these guns are for. They're to have fun with and enjoy, to hunt with and to shoot with. And uh, th this is really nice to see these young guys out here today. Thanks a lot, guys. Yep. We'll see you. Yeah. Okay. Hey, we had a great time today down here at Lion Eye Sporting Clays, just uh, a little ways from uh, Aaronsville, and, and had the greatest company of these guys, some fellows from Pekin and uh, Hartsburg. Dave's from uh, down around Decatur at uh, Dalton City. And uh, it was just a great afternoon, preseason. Dove season's about two weeks away. Kind of gets you out and smell that burning powder. There's nothing like smelling the shell after you fired it, taking it out. I remember when I was a kid shooting a gun and taking that shell out and smelling that gunpowder. Man, does it smell good. Always remember, a family that shoots together stays together. We'll see you again. Thank you. Adventure Sports Outdoors, brought to you in part by Corsaw Lumber, manufacturers of quality hardwood products, buyers of standing timber in Smithfield, Central Pool Supply, everything from pools to pool tables and much more in Peoria on West Pioneer Parkway. Michael O'Brien Commercial Real Estate and Recreational Ground, Remax Unlimited Commercial. Kelleher's Irish Pub and Eatery, located on Peoria's Riverfront, open 11 a.m. daily. And by Alwyn and Sons Meat Company, our thanks to all of these sponsors. Last month we had a program about a B-24 bomber pilot in World War II who was shot down over Holland and spent 14 months in a German prisoner of war camp. It was an interesting program by a great guy. If you'd like to see the show, you can go to YouTube and punch in Adventure Sports Outdoors and click on our last television show. We'll see you next month.